Let's peel back the cover on the tools and tech that shape our world. Ready for a deep dive? This channel is your backstage pass into the fascinating universe of big machines, smart products, and next-level tools. We break down the mechanics behind everything from industrial robots and circuit boards to power tools and DIY repairs. Curious about how things work, how they're made, or even how to fix them? All right, quick ride, big payoff, microchips, tiny, mighty, everywhere. How do they work? Why do they power everything? Start simple. Electricity can be on or off one or zero bits. That's the alphabet of computers. Enter the transistor, a microscopic switch. It can block current or let it flow. Off, on, zero, one, stack a few together. You get logic and or not build logic gates. Gates make decisions with math. Now scale it up, millions, then billions of transistors etched into silicon. Patterns so tiny, light itself prints them. That's photolithography. You shine light through masks. You carve circuits in layers. Doping tweaks the silicon so it conducts just right. Tie it all together with a clock, tick tock. Every tick moves data. Every talk runs steps, fetch, decode, execute. That loop is the heartbeat of a CPU. Memory holds data. Cache keeps it close. Registers keep it closer. Logic crunches, control routes, interconnects our tiny highways. The result, instructions turn into actions. Different chips, different jobs. CPUs are Swiss army knives. GPUs are massive parallel engines for pixels and math. Microcontrollers run your toaster, your key fob, your thermostat. So C's pack it all, CPU, GPU, memory, radios into one brain. Why silicon? It's abundant, stable. And when you make a perfect crystal, electrons behave. Repeatable, predictable, cheap at scale. Why so tiny? Smaller switches need less power. They switch faster, you pack more into the same space. That's the spirit behind Moore's law. Not a law of nature, but a relentless engineering sprint. Here's the aha. A microchip is a general tool for logic. Logic plus memory equals software. Software reprograms the same silicon to be a calculator, a camera brain, a car controller, or a cat video machine. One physical platform. Infinite behaviors and sensors feed it the world. Light sensors for cameras, accelerometers for motion, microphones for sound, radios for Wi-Fi, and 5G. Convert reality to numbers. Chips process. Actuators respond. That loop runs your phone, your fridge, your car, your city, power matters, phones sip, laptops balance, data centers chug, designers trade performance, power, and heat. Architecture helps. Specialized blocks, smarter instructions, hardware acceleration for AI, video, crypto. Reliability matters too. Error correcting codes catch bit flips. Redundancy improves yields. Packaging moves heat out. Even the glue layers, interposers, chiplets boost bandwidth between pieces. So why do chips power everything? Because everything is becoming information. Measure, compute, decide, act. If a task can be boiled down to ones and zeros, a chip can do it. Cheaper every year, smaller every year, smarter every year. From traffic lights to rockets, from earbuds to MRI machines, it's the same trick. Billions of tiny switches flipping in rhythm. On, off. Pattern becomes purpose. So next time you tap your screen, take a second. Under your thumb, a Silicon City wakes up, gates open, currents race, decisions stack. And in a blink, the world responds, tiny, mighty, everywhere. That's how microchips work. And that's why they power everything. Thanks for riding along. If that clicked, drop a like. I've got more. See you in the next one.